So the death of Molly Tibbetts has fiercely reignited the immigration debate. Among those pushing for tougher laws and stronger border in the wake of that tragedy is Marianne Mendoza, who you have seen here before on the story. Her son, Police Sergeant Brandon Mendoza, was tragically killed in a car crash in 2014 by an illegal immigrant who was driving the wrong way, three times the legal limit, drunk and high on meth. Here now, Angel Mom, and you see the Angel parents uh, in those images from the campaign, Marianne Mendoza. Marianne, thank you very much for coming back here um, this thank evening. And, and, and I want to point out that, um, you know, Molly's family does not want this to be about him being an illegal immigrant. And, and that, of course, is, you know, we respect that. That's their, they, they are grieving, and that, that's, we obviously respect that. The fact remains, as we talked about in detail last night on this program, that he, according to what we know now, was, was here illegally. You have made this uh, the center of your, your work to try to have this translate into tougher immigration law. Tell me why, for you, it was very much about that. Well, first of all, I want to offer my condolences to the Tibbetts family. Um, I know exactly what they're going through. And it is going to be weeks before they come out of the, the fog that this creates in your life. Um, and this has really reopened a lot of wounds for many, many of us Angel families. And we've been all talking on the phone and, and um, you know, just really being there to reassure each other that we, it's much more um, apparent that we have to get tougher on our fight. And what I would really like to ask our elected um, officials in Senate and in Congress, and going all the way down to city and state officials who are creating sanctuary policies, look yourselves in the mirror and ask you what would you be doing if your daughter or your son was killed in the way that Molly Tibbetts was, or any of these other, any of our other children and loved ones with the Angel families, look yourself in the face, in the mirror, and ask yourself, are you proud of the fact that you're creating the actual laws and sanctuary policies that are protecting these criminals in our country? And when was the last time you had a news conference and stood up for an, your fellow American citizen who was killed or harmed by an illegal alien? They are quick to have press conferences and talk about the children separated at the border. But when was the last damn time you saw a politician standing up for an American citizen and having a press conference? When? I mean, you know, I, your point is very well taken, and, and it's, a, it's a very good question. Um, Marianne, thank you very much. We always appreciate uh, having you come and talk about your perspective on it because it is so powerful. And um, we're so thank sorry you, still all these years about what happened to your son. Marianne, thank you very much.